Hey guys, Andy TV here with some more Mother 3. Last episode, we did stuff. We met a bunch of ghosts having the party downstairs. And this episode, oh, I did heal off screen. And yeah, this episode, gonna go inside here because there's a suit of armor here that's no pushover. So, yep, little mini boss here, if you can say it's a mini boss. And durable shoes. Uh, okay. That's better than ordinary shoes, I can tell you that. And I don't need the ordinary shoes. So let's fight this piece of armor. We have the Ghost Knight here, so let's see. I'm gonna start things off with a Siren Beetle. Yeah, nice. And gonna lower its offense because it does deal quite a lot. Jerk. Does deal quite a lot of damage. And yeah, see? That's still quite a lot. And I have an extra I have some excess thunder bombs here, so might as well use one. And nice. Oh, I wanna beat you fast. Sweet. yogurt which is nice and I did take quite a bit of damage here so beef jerky now here's a cool thing that you can actually do you notice how the sword and the shield came to the ghost armor thing when I encountered it well we could fight these separately yep ghost sword does quite a bit of damage looks pretty cool too Next up, we could do the same to the shield. It's a ghost shield. Has quite a bit of defense and yeah, it's a bit hard to kill. Okay, and now you're dead with a smash. Nice. Ooh, present. Rotten milk. Okay, then I'll just let that become yogurt. And that's just a plain old ghost armor without the sword and shield. So, yep. And what do you have to say? To be honest, we all hated that ghost knight. He was a real hard-headed jerk. So much so that I, I'd like to thank you for beating him. Thanks. Let that word of appreciation express my gratitude. Why, thank you. Ooh, what's happened? Oh, who is that? Looks like she dropped something. Well, I'm just gonna save here. And... Continue on. And, oh, come on. A pendant. Huh, let's check it out. It is a pendant dropped by a girl seen inside Oso Castle. I wonder what she's doing here. And look at the mirrors. Your whiskers have really grown out. Oh, yeah. And, want to get these two enemies together? Oh, crap. Siren Beetle, then, on the Rocking Ghost. Now, the thing is, if you get the two Rocking Ghosts together, they might actually start fighting each other, which is pretty cool. Saves you some damage of getting hurt. But, yeah. And a present Beef Jerky, nice. I will use that. Yeah, the Rocking Ghosts fighting each other makes it a lot easier to avoid getting hit, but oh well. And might as well just take care of you first. Nice comboing! Yeah, that was amazing. I'm getting better at combos. Before I was pretty horrible at them, but now I... I'm decent now. Oh, Mr. Barrel Mans. Or Mr. Barrel Man. And I'm all maxed out. Ooh, whoa! Yep, we have a Sudor here. Another new enemy. Very creepy looking. And... And they don't have back sprites that you can use the Siren Beetle on. Instead, it's gonna shut its doors like that. That's its alternate sprite. So, yep, we got it. 
and it's just gonna stay on guard now. Well, easy kill for me. And yeah, I'm fine. Go in here. And it's another Sudor. Yeah. That was an easy kill. And up here, this door is actually open and look at that, there's a ghost playing music and it's <laughs> Oh, that mouse. Poor mouse. Yep. Furniture is shaking violently. And we can't get through because this guy's too busy conducting. So, let's go talk to him. I am Mr. Passion. The music I am playing is Family Matters, Second Movement. Listen thoroughly. Sure, why not? Listen and marvel to your heart's content. Um, yeah, let's say no this time. And no, this is what artistic no th uh, no nothings like you get. We have another mini boss here, Mr. Passion. Now, what I usually like to do is start things off with a smoke bomb and make him start crying because some of his attacks are devastating. Other times he'll get lost in his music, and I also like to lower oh, crap. Yeah, lower offense just because. Lessons of damage that I take. And... Yep. Ooh. Yep. And sending candles flying. Now there's one attack of his that I really love. Made it. No, not that. Um... I'll save my thunder bombs. And Matley, no! Do your other attack. Do the cool one. Let's try again. Sink. Oh, come on. Do your attack. Fine, I'll lower your defense first, just to waste time. Yeah, I'm wasting time on a mini boss. Just because. Come on, do your attack. Do your attack. Now, something I don't think I mentioned before is when you guard or defend or whatever, it make the the rolling HP scroll slower, so that's pretty cool. See? Like that. And... no! Do your other attack. Ugh, screw you. See, I'm stalling for time and there are cars outside honking their horns. Come on, just do your attack. And the cars can stop beeping their horns outside. Uh, I could finish you off right now if I wanted to. I just want you to do your other attack. No, don't get lost in the music, please. Um, can I put you to sleep? I don't think so. Oh wow, I actually can't. I'll find I'll finish you off. Or not. Well, at least I know that that works. And more exuberant. Okay, there's that. Increases offense. I'll just... See, I am stalling for time on a mini-boss. Okay, here it is. It sends everything but the kitchen sink flying. Devastating attack. And Mr. Passion can also throw the mouse at us, which only does one damage. Oh, now you start doing that attack like everything. Oh well. Okay. And this should finish you up. Nope. Oh boy. Yeah, finished. Yeah, earned 340 experience. Nice. <laughs> the mouse. Things are calm once again. Now let's talk to the mouse. Squeak. Woo, you're a lifesaver, thank you. By the way, you can rest on that sofa if you want. You felt something warm inside your heart. Now, a lot of people like to think that that ties in with an unused stat in the game called the kindness stat, which was supposed to do something, but they took it out, so... Yep. You can take a nap on the sofa. Of course I will. Free healing. And 
of course, since we just defeated a mini boss that was obviously guarding something. There it is. The thing that Wes wanted us to find. The sound of wind blowing can be faintly heard coming from behind this wall. Pretty sure we've seen something like that before. And there's an odd dance depicted on the wall. Well, enough stalling. Let's grab the item. It's very delicately crafted. We got the Noble Spittoon. Now let's take a look at this beauty right here. Yup. Boy, Wes is gonna be so proud. Yep, you just take that little secret passage in the fireplace, like it was mentioned last episode, I believe. And yeah, I think I'm just going to end it off right here. Just gonna save showing the noble spittoon to Wes. He's gonna be very proud of us. But yeah, I'm just gonna end it off here, so see you guys next time.